Hello, my dear Neat Warriors. You might have seen countless videos regarding how to strategize for 700 plus. But this video is very different because I'm targeting those students who have been preparing but have lost hope because your scores are stuck below 500 and for some reason it is not improving. You have tried watching different things, tried experimenting in your exams and maybe you don't even have the mood to give any more mock tests. If that is the case, this video is definitely for you. I'm going to keep it short. So stay tuned till the end and make sure you're smashing the like button so that YouTube recommends you more such neat content and subscribe to the number one neat English channel in the country, which is Vedantu Neat English. I will tell you what are the different things you can do to go from here to 700 plus and you need this target because the cutoffs, the rank inflation, the competition is high and we need this because we need to get into AIMS, the government colleges, AFMC, you name it. Now, let me tell you, it is never too late to begin to admit your mistakes. See, you might have done something wrong. You might say that, sir, I was preparing seriously, but you know something has gone wrong. Maybe that sincerity was not there. Maybe that approach was wrong, or maybe you chose a wrong method of learning or you chose the wrong book or something which has fallen short. So what is that thing which probably you notice and maybe you will notice after watching this video, you need to let me know. But it is never too late. Trust me, five months are enough. If you have been asking this question on every YouTube channel in the comments, let me tell you, yes, it is enough. And I can give you countless of my students examples who from 400 have achieved that 700 score. And they believed in themselves, they believed in the teacher, they believed in the system and the whole approach and their strategy. Starting today, you can achieve it. How? I will let you know. So let me introduce myself. This is Captain Stress. I have been training and teaching kids for more than 13 years. And I'm extremely proud that many of my students are doctors, engineers from the top-notch medical colleges. And bringing these students up is like one crazy story because right from scratch to making them achieve their dream and finally after many years when they come back wearing a coat or send a picture from their workplace um, in the hospital saying sir i'm a finally a doctor that is something what teachers like me live for and i'm really happy and proud to say that i have nurtured thousands of such kids so make sure you're smashing the like button for your captain stress number one strategy that you need to target for getting 700 plus if you are stuck below 500. Well, I want you to understand this. Stop watching any such videos which say skip these topics. Most important topics for NEET 2025. It's okay to uh, leave those less weightage. Stop watching such videos. That is going to never give you 700 plus score. That is just for views. It's of no use. If your target is 550, 600 below, then it is okay. But then there is no point because you won't get a government college below 600. You have to study each and every topic, each and every subject because the questions in need, you have to prepare yourself mentally. It can be asked from anywhere. Just because in the last six years out of 10 years, there was a question on moment of inertia does not mean there is 60% chance. Maybe, yeah, fine, there is 60% chance, but what if it doesn't come? What if it comes from something which you have not studied in rotational motion? So that's the reason why you need to prepare each and everything. Go with the mindset that question can be framed from anywhere. You have no option at all. You have to prepare biology from NCRT, obviously, and uh, obviously the true man book is very good. So at least read the NCRT book three times, starting from now, doesn't matter what you have done before. If you talk about chemistry, inorganic, especially and organic, you have to stick to NCRT because the reactions, everything are related from NCRT book only. And you have to go through it at least three times from now. Yes, and it is possible. Physics, you don't need to go that many times. You can go two times, that is good enough. And that too for the theoretical parts. Some parts are more problematic, application oriented. So especially the theoretical chapters like semiconductors or modern physics or maybe the solids, fluids part. So that you need to definitely read the NCRT at least two times. 
talking about what should be the flow of the syllabus so that you complete on time and you do not take any tension. You have to go sequentially from the basic chapters. You cannot say, oh, this chapter, sir, is very high weightage current electricity. I will start from there. You will not understand so many things like what is electric field, why this force is there, what is this acceleration. You need to know some basic things like kinematics or maybe uh, basic maths or maybe vectors. So slowly you need to build up. There are some independent chapters, but they come little bit later on. So if a chapter is independent and high weightage, example, ray optics, similarly in biology or chemistry, something is big chapter, very important, but independent. You can do it, but after completing the basics, don't do it at the beginning. Sometimes those chapters are interesting and you feel like, okay, let me just get it done. Okay. But rotational motion is not an independent chapter. It is dependent on Newton's law, circular motion, work energy, etc. Low weightage and short chapters, which are independent, can be done later. Things like, say, for example, solids or fluid mechanics. It's fairly independent. You can keep it for some time later, but towards the end, but you have to complete it. It's, uh, even if it comes sequentially as chapter 7, chapter 9, it's okay. You can do it later because there are higher weighted chapters eventually you will complete it and in a day you have to do two subjects if you just do one subject i feel it will become very boring and considering that you have to study for 10 hours at least a day you can't study a single subject keep it uh, you know a mix of two subjects you can even make it like seven hours one subject three hours another subject that is also fine ha, there is one more important thing regarding this that sometimes students study more of biology and they study very little physics or very little chemistry. That's the reason why you need to make a proper plan and schedule. So let me tell you the timeline for a fresher, that is if you are a 12th standard student writing the NEET exam for the first time, mainly focus on your 12th standard after completing the basics and complete it obviously by January because February onwards you have your board exams. So you have to complete the chapters. And 11th, you can complete it during the gap of the board exams, if there are multiple gaps, big gaps, and also in the month of March after your board examinations. So that is what you need to do. Remember, few of the 11th topics will be completed as basics, like vectors, kinematics, basic maths, etc. All right. So those things, though, you will have to complete it before even the 12th standard portions. Without that, you might not be able to understand many things in electromagnetism and so many other uh, subjects. Similarly, for a dropper, you don't have the uh, constraint that you have to do 12th first. You can go as per these guidelines, which I told you, go with the flow and maintain an order. And yes, focus on high weightage first and then the low weightage, but do everything and complete the entire syllabus by February because fresher student will be involved in boards. Meanwhile, you will complete your syllabus by February. After that, you need to do at least two revisions. So after let's say for a fresher in March, you can start off with the first revision in April, first three weeks and the last one, two weeks uh, or maybe till the May 1st or 2nd, you can complete your second revision. For a dropper student, you will get slightly more time. March, you can do the first revision. April, you can do the second revision and you can also keep a last short, quick revision in the last one week as well. So minimum two revisions are a must with full syllabus mock test more than 20. This number Keep in mind if you want to target 700 plus. Talking about the questions, practice how much you should do. You have to practice all the models of the questions. You cannot leave any kind of question. Let's say you take a topic on photoelectric effect. Maybe they ask questions on work function. Maybe they ask questions on threshold frequency. Maybe they ask questions on the graphs. Maybe they will ask questions on something else. So whatever types of questions are there, you need to know with full confidence and that confidence comes if you solve two or three questions of the same type. You might be wondering, sir, where do I get so many questions from? My book does not have it. Well, if you are a part of the Vedantu batches, you know you have access to something called as the pedagogy where you can choose a subject, choose a topic, choose the number of questions, even choose the difficulty. It will create an, uh, a new assignment for you. It can also be adaptive meaning if you do something wrong, it will keep a simpler question next so that you understand the topic. And if you do it well, then it will give you a more slightly difficult question. That way you can be fully sure. Yes, 
I am thorough through this particular topic. That is a part of pedagogy. If you are a part of the NEET Express batch, you know it already. Well, also, you should have a sheet maintaining all the topics and how well your confidence is. Say, for example, you know, a cell. Okay, these are the topics, NCIT topic 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, .1, etc. These topics, how confident are you? Have you practiced PYQs? Have you practiced NCRT based questions? Have you read the theory at least three times from NCRT? Okay, have I practiced enough model of questions, non PYQ type? You have to maintain a sheet. That way you will not lose track. Or you'll be, huh, maybe I have done it. Maybe I think I know it. No, you will forget it. That's why. And whenever you solve problems, remember, start with easy, direct. It's there in NCRT directly. It's done in the class. Direct formula substitution, direct reaction, that one. Then go to slightly more complex. Two step process is there. Two steps are involved or two concepts are involved. Sometimes three concepts are involved. Okay, it's not there directly in NCRT. You have to think a little bit and then get it. Those kind of questions. Then go to PYQs and then you want to push yourself, go beyond PYQs, do the hard questions. You can use our uh, modules which is there in the batches or you can use the pedagogy and select hard questions automatically it will generate hard questions from that particular topic most important thing you cannot be lazy and you cannot do donkey work you have to do smart work but hard work there is no substitute if somebody is telling you oh it's okay you can be a little bit calm and still you can work smart no, that is not going to happen. And one of the most important thing when you have to work hard is distractions. Baswa sir has made an amazing video on it. Make sure you check it out so that you kill all your distractions, be it TV, mobile, social media addiction, gaming, playing outside, sleeping, laziness. You need to sacrifice most of these things as much as possible. In fact, minimize your dinner time, your bathing time, your sleeping time, not more than six, seven hours. Also, whatever unnecessary activities are there, start cutting them down and you will realize actually you have so much of time. Also, make sure that if you are getting something ready made, use it. Why do you want to sit and reinvent the wheel? The wheel was invented thousands of years back. If you say, no, I'm going to reinvent it, you're wasting your time, right? If something is ready made, use it. For example, the notes. Like we have the flashcards. Yes, the link is there in the description. The small concise notes. You can just directly order it and you have all the notes ready made in front of you in terms of in, in the form of small, small flashcards. And you can start studying from there. So you save a lot of time and you know, you can use it better for solving problems. Also, a lot of times people think, no, I will sit and study this chapter properly and then I will understand it. Sometimes that is difficult. Usually what I find easy is I will just go through the chapter. Then I will watch a proper lecture, either uh, whatever my batch is or whatever YouTube lecture or the recorded lectures on the batch. And then I will then go through the book and then I will be like, oh, this is how it is. Oh, that is how it is. Still, if I do not understand, I will again rewatch only that particular part. In fact, you should watch the lectures as much as possible at 2x speed, 1.5x speed if you are watching it recorded. If you are live, yes, the whole atmosphere is different and your mood is different and you are maintaining a discipline and schedule throughout your journey. Also, never ever hesitate to ask a doubt because if you feel that you are getting stuck, don't waste too much time. Ask the doubt. Either search it on Google, but search for reliable sources or if you are a part of our batches, then you know you can directly ask the doubt from a proper doubt expert. If you are in a coaching, ask your proper teacher rather than asking somebody randomly and getting misguided. And please don't go beyond the syllabus because then you are wasting time. In physics, suddenly you will get interested. What is a black hole? It's not there in the syllabus. So don't waste your time. Okay. And also, if you are good at something and you know something well, then make sure that you do the weak points as well. See, a lot of times, you know, what happens is you're good at something and then you are not good at something. If you are not good at something, you have to make it stronger. Okay. Just making the stronger strongest is of no use because if you already have that confidence, then that weak point is what is going to hurt you, is going to give you negative marks. So if physics is your weak point or in physics, there is a particular section which is your weak point or in biology, what is weak point? Study that 
make sure you know it well because questions can be asked from anywhere and if you want to take help from us then let me tell you me and the entire team along with a set of the best teachers are teaching in the neat express 1.0 the station one it's a pure english batch and our objective is to complete the entire syllabus by march and which is going to happen uh, and you will see from march last week onwards the revision will start uh, also with the full syllabus test series as well as the dpps the notes the pedagogy access and so much more and this is not a crash course because crash course starts in march this is a proper comprehensive course with 500 hours plus of teaching with detailed lectures and with rigorous practice sessions and class mock tests with part tests and full syllabus tests there are multiple versions of it prime combo and pro so you get everything in the prime like be it the uh, test series the dpps the live classes the handwritten notes right all of these things but if you want the tests additionally to be couriered to your home and these tests will be way different from the class tests then you go for the combo offer you will get offline all india level test series if you want if you want the books as well to be delivered and you want 24 by 7 doubt solving then you go for the pro version all the links are there in the description box let me show that to you so that you know where to buy it from as you are watching this uh, lecture okay you can see this link is right over here yep and you can see all the batch variations are mentioned with all the details the prime batch is for just 2999 the combo with the all india level test series is for 4499 and along with the crash books and the 24 by 7 doubt solving is for 8999 all right all the links are there in the description box and meanwhile let me also tell you the problem solving and the pyq series as a part of the neat express will be there on youtube as well with your vedantu neat warriors so stay tuned on the channel and i want to know what is your current score in the comments and let's see after a few months how this particular score is going to change. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing.